Uh, I'm not going to go this way to go to Kanto. I think I should try to make my way back to the power plant. Because I find that one thing you want to do, the first thing you should do whenever you get back into Kanto, is that you should solve the power plant issue first because uh, there's a lot that kind of goes into that quest and it's better to get it done now as opposed to later so uh, we're gonna make our way to the power plant I've been recording for let me check really quick only about an hour 30 so I might just uh, go down the next route and then from there I might decide if I want to call it quits or at least make my way to the power plant because you know there's some stuff we can do in Kanto now that we're here and a few Pokemon we can catch and train, so I'll, I'll figure it out in time. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Let's go back to... Oh, right, I wanted to go to the Copycat's house to see if uh, the Poke Doll would actually do anything. Okay, no, the Poke Doll didn't do anything. So, let's move on. Let's actually go to this route over here. Have you been to Lavender Town? There's a tall radio tower there. A tall radio tower? I thought that wasn't a radio tower. I thought that was a Pokemon cemetery. What do you mean, radio tower? If anything, that sounds kind of blasphemous. You better check it out. Oh, but we got trainers. We got trainers, of course we do. Let's go ahead and take him out. Let's put, let's put Kingy in front. We'll let him take care of some of these guys. We're the Kanto Pokemon Federation Trainer Group. We'll drive you under our wheel. Oh, God. That's brutal. That's like murder, almost. Jeez. These guys are insane. Uh, one thing I will mention, now that we're in Kanto, is that... As far as places to train, honestly, your best bet is still probably some of the later routes of Johto, because I feel like the Pokemon in Kanto's routes have very similar levels to uh, what they were in the original game. So, like right here in this route, you won't find Pokemon at like level 40 or anything like that. You'll still find Pokemon at level like 15 to 20, basically, so... Yeah, I don't really use Kanto as a way to train until you get to the very, very late routes of Kanto. Basically, the routes that kind of end around the Elite Four area, so... Can't really do much training here, unfortunately. But that's just the way it is. So we're just gonna take out this Federation Force guy. Didn't really see what his name was. What's his name again? Dwayne? Uh, I don't want to make a story because I don't really like the name Dwayne that much. <laughs> the cops shut down our underground path. That really fries me. Well, I mean... To be fair, motorbikists are kind of seen as delinquents and... You pretty much just had an underground tunnel for you guys to mess around in, so... Honestly, I don't really see them doing anything that out of line. Let's just be real with here. Being real with you, you freaking delinquent biker guy. Don't mean to sound bike racist or anything, but... I just don't think it's a big deal, that's all. I don't think it's a big deal. And yeah, even these trainers, these trainers have Pokemon high 20s, low 30s, so we're not even going to be getting a huge amount of experience from these battles either. But we'll, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with, with it for right now. We're the Kanto Pokemon Federation. Right on, dude. Right on, dude. I'm not your dude, dude. Let's get that straight. Okay, this guy just has two coughings. Biker Zeke? <laughs> this guy's name is Biker Zeke. Okay, so one day Malkinor Beck's cat came alive and turned into a biker. For some reason, I don't know why. And then joined a Federation force. 
<laughs> also, I love how I keep saying Federation Force because of Metroid Federation Force. You know, that game that everybody hates because it's not a true Metroid game. I can't really relate because, you know, as disappointing as that game looked, you can't really judge a game before you get a chance to play it. That's just the way it is. Regardless of what you think, you can't judge it till you play it. Okay, well, let's get ready for this next fight. We have... Super Nerd Sam. Okay, Super Nerd Sam finally decided to grow out of his pajamas. What did he put on instead? A nerd ensemble. There you have it, Super, uh, Super Nerd Sam. Alright, good job, Terran leveling up. Double Team? I don't want to learn Double Team. Double Team's not a bad move, it's just I don't feel like learning it. Just my own personal opinion. Let's fight a Muck instead. I don't think we have any new Pokemon here. No, we don't. I just checked the list. Basically the same Pokemon that you can find on Route 7, which is the route that mirrors this route. The route that goes from Saffron to Celadon. And the Pokemon you can find, you can find Abra, Kadabra, you can find Pidgeotto, you can find Growlithe. Uh, during the night you can find uh, Haunter, Noctowl, and if you're playing uh, the Silver version, you can actually find Meowth as well. But we're not playing that version, so you can't find them. And Vulpix, for that matter. Heh! <laughs> you can find Vulpix and Meowth, which I named Beck and Zeke in my... Wow, that's, that's actually really clever. I didn't realize that was actually something that could and would happen. It's funny how inside jokes work sometimes. Uh, anyway, let's use... I don't want to use Glimmer, but let's use Glimmer. I guess I could have used Porky, too, but I don't have a ground move with Porky yet. I'm pretty sure... I, I think, anyway, I think Porky is capable of learning Earthquake. Which I think I have the TM for Earthquake, I just haven't used it yet. Because I didn't know if uh, Pila Swine learns it naturally or not. I should check that. Actually, I might do that while I'm fighting this guy. Completely destroying him, for that matter. Okay, I just checked. He does not learn uh, Earthquake, so I might want to just teach him that. I think I will do that. Because really, he's a ground type. He should have a Earth move, or a ground type move. Would be cool if I could teach him a rock type move too. So he has that basis covered as well. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Let's check what's in here. Probably nothing that important. Oh. A Prisker Berry! I know it's paralyzed cure, but still it's funnier that way. So here we are in Lavender Town. Lavender Town looks uh surprisingly small and different. People come from all over to pay their respects to the departed souls of Pokemon. So here we have the cemetery. Welcome. Hmm, you appear to be raising your Pokemon in a kind and loving manner. Pokemon lovers come here to pay their respects to departed Pokemon. Please offer condolences for the souls of the departed Pokemon. I'm sure that will make them happy. The Pokemon that live with me. I love them like my grandchildren. Aw, oh, this is sad. There are other graves of Pokemon here, I think. There are many chambers that only Mr. Fuji may enter. I came with my mom to visit Pokemon graves. Aw, oh, this is sad. I also love they have the flowers on the ground, too. That's a really cute and great touch. But wait a minute. Wasn't this in the big tower in the last game? That's quite some building, eh? It's Kanto's radio tower. Oh my god. 
Ganto Radio Station, your favorite programs on air around the clock. They replaced Pokemon Tower, the Pokemon Grave Cemetery, with a radio tower. Welcome. Feel free to look around anywhere on this floor. Oh, no, no, no. We've been off the air ever since the power plant shut down. All my efforts to start this station would be wasted if I can't broadcast. I'll be ruined. Oh, looks like the radio tower can't do much without the power plant. Thankfully, though, the power plant is actually just north of uh, where we are now, so we can definitely check that out. And I think I will keep going. I think I will keep going, just because. Why not? But yeah, like, does anyone else think that's kind of messed up? They just replaced the radio tower, or replaced the Pokemon tower with a radio tower? I don't know, maybe I'm looking too much into it because, you know, it's a video game. I get it, but, uh, still, I, th I don't really like that that was their resolve. Couldn't they just put the radio tower in, like, Celadon or Saffron or something? Hell, they could have made the Sylph Company part of the radio tower, too. I don't know, I just thought that was really, really weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and go north. We're now on Route 10. This is the route with the power plant, but we can't access it from here. Uh, we actually have to go the long way around to actually get to it, which is kind of unfortunate, but again, it is what it is, and uh, we're just going to have to deal with it. Uh, there are some trainers on this route, though. First, we have Mr. Hikerman. You like Pokemon, don't you? Me too! I'm sure you do, buddy. I'm sure you do. Here we have... Oh, Pokefan Roberts. Oh, God. Pokefan Roberts. I don't feel comfortable making a story for this guy. Okay, Pokemon... Uh, Pokemon... Um... Ah. Pokefan Robert was a stud. He was just a straight-up awesome guy. Everyone loved him. Everyone just... I thought Pokefan Robert was just the greatest guy ever to have stepped on foot on this world. So, as a result, he became a Pokemon fan of great, great skill. He even did Pokemon Let's Plays on his channel from time to time, his YouTube channel anyway. And the people just loved him. And the end. Pokefan Robert was a legend, and that's r really all there is to it. Okay. Let's move on. Here, we have another trainer. I don't know why I'm still using Terran. I should have switched to someone else, because Terran definitely has enough experience right now. Hiker Jim. Let's see. Hiker Jim. What will happen to old Jimmy? Uh... Jim, Jim, Jim. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Okay, so... I don't have anything. <laughs> His name was Jim. He hiked mountains. He loved mountains. That's really about it. Route 10. Okay. Whatever. So now we're going to go to the rock tunnel, which... Dang it. <laughs> I thought it actually lit up in this game. I guess I was wrong. I thought it lit up, but I guess not. Well, I do have a Pokemon that can learn Flash, and I did keep them for this sole reason, so... It's not a bad thing. This is why I have you, Celeste. This is why I have you. But meanwhile, let's go ahead and talk about the rock tunnel while we're uh, moving through it. Uh, there is a new Pokemon we can find there, and it will be a very familiar Pokemon as well. Actually, there's two new Pokemon we can find. It's not just uh, not just this first one. So let's uh, go ahead and go back really quick. Uh, I don't think the rock tunnel changes that much. It might be a little shorter, and I don't think there are as many trainers, if no trainers at all. But, um, you know, it's basically the same idea, just a short little cave to work through. 
So let's do it. Look who it is, guys! Look who it is. It's Cubone. He's also at a very, very low level. I did not expect that. I also don't really have anyone to fight this. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. What am I talking about? False swipe. <laughs> Almost forgot about that. Oh, but I should have known he would try that. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. Cubone is a... You know, it's kind of a baby Pokemon, so... It's no surprise he's at flight risk a lot. Let's see if we can find him again. Nope, that was a Geodude. That was a Machop. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully he doesn't flee this time. I really hope he doesn't. He might just be scared because I am using level 40 Pokemon and he is only a level 13, but... Dang it! This is gonna be annoying. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about this right now. I'm just gonna use Repel so I can make it through here. Like I said, it's not a very long cave this time, but... You know. Okay, let's just get through it. Like I said, I don't think there's really any Pokemon to be discovered, or really any Pokemon trainers to be discovered here. So it's just going to be a straight shot through. Uh, but in this room, this room in particular, you can find a Kangaskhan, which is obviously another Pokemon you can catch. I'll definitely work on trying to get that one off camera as well. So you can get both Cubone and Kangaskhan in this tunnel. Both Pokemon that are very, very, very useful, I'd say. Kangaskhan's a pretty sweet uh, normal type Pokemon, I have to say. Honestly, I probably would have used Kangaskhan in my Generation 1 playthrough if uh, Kangaskhan wasn't a Safari Zone Pokemon. Because I seriously hated the Safari Zone. I know that I made execu execute my Safari Zone Pokemon, but still, it wasn't that bad in that case, just because execute's very easy to find, and easy to catch for that matter. Okay, we're almost out. We'll go ahead and run from this guy, I'm not going to cut out this commentary, because we are right at the end. It did suck though, because I did want to catch both of those, but I can just do it later. Okay, we're on the other part of Route 10. This part of Route 10 actually has wild grass that you can catch Pokemon in, so I can talk about that really quick, because once again, there are some more Pokemon we can catch. One of the Pokemon has about a 30 chance of appearing, so I might want to try to grab that now while I'm thinking about it. It is a Gen 1 Pokemon, as you'd probably expect. Let's see if we can find it. And hopefully I can find the other one, too. Okay, I've actually made a bit of a conclusion about this grass. I don't think this grass is actually part of Route 10. I think it's part of Route 9. Uh, the reason being is... Um, I was looking at my guide, and there were Pokémon that were appearing that's supposed to be with Route 9, and uh, the Pokémon I was looking for didn't appear here, so... I think I have to go around here before I can find the Pokémon I'm looking for. Because over here is how we get to the power plant. And yes, we still have wild encounters with fish Pokemon. Gonna have to just deal with that for right now, I guess. Go away, Goldeen. Go away. Just swim away. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. There we go. Yeah, I think this is the grass we've been looking for. Okay, found it. Found one of the Pokemon anyway. There is another one, like I said. But here is the one I wanted to look for, because it has a higher chance of appearing. Also curious to see if it'll run away. Okay, it didn't. Good. This will make it easier on me. I'm just going to use a Great Ball. This should be enough. This should be enough to catch it anyway. Let's hope it is. There we go, we got Voltorb. So now we can start training Voltorb. 
and get his evolutions taken care of. You know what? I'm still going to be immature. I don't care. And Dedication of 3D Balls, probably one of the worst games ever made. Balls. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Here we have the Kanto Power Plant. So let's see what's going on here. A thief broke into the power plant. What is the world coming to? This power plant has been abandoned in the past. We got it back up and running to provide power to the magnet train. Someone made off with the part that's essential for the generator. Without it, the new generator is useless. Who would steal a part for a power plant machine, though? The magnet train consumes a lot of electricity. It can't move if the new generator isn't operating. The power plant's manager is up ahead. But since someone wrecked the generator, he's been both sad and furious. I don't like the sound of that. I, I, I'm I ready to blast someone. Who would dare ruin my generator? I spent so much time on it. If I can catch him, he's going to get a taste of my zap cannon. Is that a metaphor for your...